What's up fruitful investors? In today's video, I'll be talking about how to post on Instagram to convert business for yourself. Now I will say before I get into these tips that I am a real estate agent and a real estate investor and I use Instagram to attract partners and build my business and it's worked amazingly well. As I always say, I've attracted all of my money partners through YouTube and Instagram. Now. If you're here from my YouTube channel, this will definitely help you build your real estate investing business. But if you're here to build your hair salon business, your plumbing business, your contractor business, whatever, these tips will also work for you. What I'm gonna share is extremely universal and will work for pretty much every single business. So first and foremost, what you need to understand is the platform that you're using to advertise your business. As I always say, if you're using Facebook, it's totally different from Instagram, it's totally different from LinkedIn, from YouTube, etc. So really understand the type of platform you're using. In this case, we're talking about Instagram, and Instagram is all beauty-based, mainly. It's all about beauty, how things look. If we look at other, you know, top, uh, accounts you know they're very popular because they have beautiful pictures we're talking about travel videos or workout videos or hair salon videos whatever um, it's all about beauty but also what's being missed by a lot of businesses specifically is the personal aspect people really really want to know who you are as a person behind the business when you can share with people who you really are, they're gonna trust you as a friend, as a human being. You know, one of the best compliments I get is when I go to a networking event or just at, just out and about and people recognize me and they say, Matt, I feel like I know you. I feel like we're already friends. That's exactly what you wanna do when you're building a business. And this is the thing that a lot of people don't understand. They're just pushing, pushing, pushing content, sell, 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 all about beauty on Instagram specifically, but they're not sharing the personal aspect. So there's two ways pretty much on how we post on Instagram, how we can advertise successfully. Number one is obviously the posts. So you post a picture on your front page or your main page. This is where you wanna focus on the beauty. So if we're talking about real estate investing specifically, it is the perfect industry for this. If you finished a project with a partner, you can show how beautiful it is, the transformation, what it looks like. People love you know, home transformations. Or if you're doing a hair salon, like I said, you could show the beautiful hairdo you did on, on your client, et cetera. Post that, people love to see that. So beauty, beauty, beauty on the post. But again, this is where people focus on, uh, like 99% of their focus is on the post. It's all about beauty, it's all about sell, sell, sell. What they're forgetting is the second aspect of posting on Instagram, and that is the Instagram stories. This is where you're really, really gonna sell people and convert business to yourself if you use it strategically. So as I said, the post is all about beauty, sell, sell, sell kind of thing. The post is who are you behind the business? So there's some good strategies you wanna use. You wanna share you know, some of your everyday life in your business, but also start sharing some of your everyday life outside of your business. So I, if I had to give a percentage, I would say you know, 60, 70% of your posts, or sorry, your Insta stories, should be about your business. So for me as a real estate agent and a real estate investor, I'm constantly posting about properties that I'm seeing, properties that I'm walking through, you know, oh, this property sucks, it's run down, here I am today with a client, et cetera. So I'm showing the business aspect and about 40 or 50% even should be personal. What do you do outside of your business? Are you going rock climbing? Are you going skiing, snowboarding? Are you skateboarding? Whatever, what are your interests to really show the audience who you are as a person because the more they feel that they can know you, the more they feel they can relate to you, the more they're gonna do business with you. So this is exactly the strategies I'm using with my Insta stories. If you go on my Instagram, you can check it out and kind of see how I do it, copy it, replicate it, steal it. That's what this is all about and see exactly what I'm doing because it's doing, it's working really well. I get a lot of DMs every single day, multiples of people saying, I wanna work with you, I see what you're doing, it's awesome, I want in. On top of that, my YouTube channel is pretty much doing the same exact thing, but a more you know budget oriented or more production value here on YouTube. Instagram's kind of the nitty gritty, you know, day in the life, just pick up the phone and shoot. So that's really how you wanna use Instagram. The posts are for beauty, selling your business, you know, sell, sell, sell. I'm the best because of this. 
work with me because of this, etc. Your Insta stories is taking your audience behind the curtain and showing what your everyday life is like. I'm telling you, this is what's gonna sell your joint venture partner to actually invest with you or gaining your hair salon, etc. This is what it's all about and that's how you wanna use your Insta stories. The third and last thing we can do on Instagram to really sell our business and grow our business and convert business is from doing Insta ads. So Instagram ads are super, super powerful. It's actually Facebook ads. Facebook and Instagram ads are pretty much tied together, same ownership, uh, but Instagram ads are so powerful. So if you make it, for example, a one minute video, I'll show you an example of mine right here. So your main focus when you're buying these type of properties is to raise the rent. Now, why is that? Because income dictates value. So if we take a one minute video and we place an ad on it and promote it, we can target exactly who we want seeing that video. The, the amount of targeting in this is insane. I think it's underutilized. Gary Vaynerchuk always talks about Facebook and Instagram ads being underutilized right now in 2019. We'll see how that plays out in a couple years. But right now it is so, so powerful if you're trying to build a business. For example, for me as a real estate agent and real estate investor, my main focus on Instagram is to attract joint venture partners to partner with me and give me their money so we can buy real estate together and make wealth together. And because of the Instagram ads, I can target exactly who I want. So I can pick the city that I want, you know, I can pick a radius around the city or just the exact city itself. I can pick male or female ages, you know, 19 to 34, etc who only look at real estate investing things online all the time. It's like super crazy how targeted it is and it's blown up my Instagram and the amount of clients and partners I'm getting because of that. So use the Instagram ads, it's super powerful. If you're on a low budget, focus mostly on the posts and the stories. If you have a bit of a budget and Instagram ads and Facebook ads are so cheap, so it's definitely in most people's budget, you can do at least $3 a day, $2 a day. You know, that's all it takes really to start getting some traction and target exactly who you want for your ideal business. Ideal business. As I always say on this channel, it's all about target marketing now. I owe everything I have to target marketing. I don't market to everybody. I market to a very specific person who likes a certain thing, who's in between a certain age group, et cetera. And that's all I focus on, that one specific person and Instagram and Facebook ads allow you exactly to do that. So that's the quick tip I want to give you today, a nice little quick video, but super, super powerful if you use it correctly. Again, follow me on Instagram if you want and just kind of steal what I'm doing. Just watch what I'm doing, copy it, steal it. I don't care, that's what it's all about. I just want to give value and help people. And it'll really show you how to build this business. As I always say, you know, I've raised well over $7 million, probably more than that so far in real estate investing joint venture partners, all from social media. So if I can do it, you can definitely do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned anything, please click like right below and to find out more about my free courses, my free books, also click that link right below. I'll see you in the next video.